Oh, it is beautiful round here, isn't it? Now, let's go home. I'm frozen. What do you want to drag me all the way out here for? Well, I thought you'd enjoy a nice drive out in the country on a Sunday afternoon. You don't get out enough, it'd do you good. Oh, just look at that view. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? A wonderful view. Oh, what wouldn't you give to live round here? Wouldn't you like to live round here? No, I would not. I want to go home round the fire. There's a good film on telly this afternoon. Wouldn't you really like to live round here? I mean, give them the chance. Wouldn't you like to end your days in a place like this? I mean, wouldn't you like to get away from that dirty old house and spend the rest of your days in these idyllic surroundings? Oh, you deserve it, Dan. When the hard life you've had. Oh, just look at that house. Oh, isn't that magnificent? Oh, Peter, look at that. <laughs> oh, I wonder who lives there. Oh, it must be a millionaire at least. Oh, what wouldn't it give to live in a place like that, eh? Oh, it's, it's just fantastic. Who could live there? Oh, look, there's a notice. I wonder what it said. <laughs> Chartwell House. Old people's home. Well, well, well. <laughs> Who would have believed a beautiful house like that for an old people's home? I'm not going in there. I oh, know, Dad. Take me out, mate. I'm going in there. No, sir, don't it for I wondered why you brought me out oh. here today. Look at the lovely view. Oh, what a lovely house. No. I wonder who it could belong to. No, Dad. Yeah, crafty. Come and take me out. No, come on, Dad. Take me out. Give me them reins. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It was sheer coincidence. I might have known you was up to something this morning. Bring me breakfast up on a tray. Slimy, that's what you are. <laughs> Conniving, cunning, just like your mother, gold rest of soul. <laughs> no idea. You hadn't the guts to say it straight out of his face, did you? What's that? You're overwrought. Can you look me straight in the eye and deny that you were trying to get me into an old people's home? <laughs> Would you like a drink? Well, don't look at me like that. I mean, it's not my fault. It's like what they said in The Guardian the other week. <laughs> you, you are the victim of the failure of Western society in not knowing how to look after its old people. I ain't old. I can still have you over. All right, then. It's senior citizens. Oh, <laughs> I don't have this problem in the East. Oh, yes, the family unit is still very strong out there. Oh, they've solved the problem. It's all tied up with Shinto. They <laughs> worship their ancestors. Well, then... Oh, well, we ain't wogs, Dad. We're English. <laughs> oh, I see. It's religion now, is it? All right, then. What about honour thy father and thy mother? Oh, believe me, Dad, I'm doing this for you, not for me. I mean, I haven't come to this decision lightly. If there was any other way out, I'd take it, but there is no other solution. I'm very sorry, but there it is. You've got to go. <laughs> Why? Because I shall be going away very shortly, and you shall be left here all on your own. Going away? Yes. Where are you going? I'm going around the world on a sloop. You're doing what? Going around the world on a sloop. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, God. What are you laughing at? Well, I, I don't see what's funny about it. I mean, I mean, lots of people do it. It is adventure. It's doing something. Oh, oh, stop it. Stop it, Dad. I'll go beyond. Stop it. Stop laughing. 
Ah, if you think that by ridiculing me you can get me to change my mind, you can't have a thing coming. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm going around the world on a sloop, and that's all there is to it. Is that what you want a new suit for? Yeah. You're not serious? I'm dead serious, mate. In that case, you should be going into the home, not me. You great burke, you want your brains tested. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? You're just jealous, that's all. Just because you ain't been nowhere, you don't want me to go. I've travelled, mate. Travelled? Bogner, have you heard? Here and I had a bay window of a boarding house for 14 days. I'll travel abroad. Oh, France, yes, I am sorry, I forgot about that. Four years in the trenches and a fortnight in Bogner. A world authority on travel. You're probably to Marco Polo, aren't you? I'll travel enough to know it's all the same. Oh, how can it be the same? <laughs> I mean, how can India be the same as this? And I want to see it, mate, before I die. Oh, I want to see the dawn come up like thunder. I don't want to read about it, I want to hear it. I, I want to sit round a campfire with a bunch of sheiks, sorting through the rice for a couple of sheep's eyes. <laughs> that ties me on, the barrier reef, the hanging gardens of Babylon, the seven pillars of wisdom and the great the rough. I want to see it. Oh, yes, it's all the same, isn't it? You can see all that down the bingo hall, can't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad, but I don't want to go as old as you and look back and think, where have I been? Nowhere. What have I done? Nothing. I, I want to look back and think, 1964? Oh, yes. That's when I was a gaucho on the pampas, rounding up the steers. <laughs> How I see people's eyes light up when I tell them about going round the horn with everything lashed down and calling in at some tropical island like for fresh water and having garlands hung round my neck by slant-eyed dusky maidens. <laughs> <laughs> Lying back on some palm fringe beach eating breadfruit, <sighs> pearl fishing the coral sea, ivory smuggling up the coast of Africa, Whale hunting off Antarctica. Shipwrecked off South End. Shipwrecked. <laughs> and we say that that will be the last of your more senile attempts at humour for today. Well, pull yourself together. What do you know about boats? How could you sail a sloop round the world by yourself? I'm not going by myself. Obviously, I wouldn't attempt a trip like that on my own. I'm not stupid. There's ten of us going. Five blokes and five birds. Ah. <laughs> It's going to be one of those do's, is it? <laughs> it's not going to be one of those do's. What a vulgar, dirty little mind. <laughs> this is a serious attempt by a bunch of young people to explore the world around us. If you must know, I answered a perfectly respectful advert in the New Statesman. He wants nine other people in search of adventure to join him on a trip round the world. Oh, I realise it's hard for your generation to understand. But believe me, it is not unusual these days. I mean, they're all doing it. It's the outward bound school. I mean, they're not just content to sit down around a television watching Bonanza. They want to be in it. They're all climbing mountains because they are there. They're doing things. Yeah, with five birds. Oh, good. <laughs> Please don't be so suburbanly preoccupied with sex. <laughs> These are highly intelligent people. They don't look at life like that. They are just five people going on a trip with five other people. Well, why don't you take ten blokes, then? I don't know. I'm not organising it. Perhaps he thought... I know you... what he thought. Oh, there's no use talking to you. I mean, if you like to look upon it as a sex orgy on the high seas, then it's up to you. <laughs> All I can say is it's just another example of the widening gulf between our generations. I mean, a thing like this would have been impossible in your day. That's true. Five men and five women on a boat. There wouldn't have been much sailing down, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, times, you disgust me. Surely there are pursuits that men and women can do together without sex coming into it. All I can say is it's going to be a very hard day for the world when a bird can't go mountain climbing with a bloke without being got at on a precipice. <laughs> oh, there's no point in discussing any further. It's all settled. We're sailing next month. I see. 
So I'm going to be bunged into an old people's home while you float round the world with five bits of trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> it's my father's snagging match with you. It's all settled. I've been as fair as I can. I shall dispose of the business and you can have the old proceeds. I don't want a penny of it. Ah, oh, lot I'll have to spend it on, won't I? Sitting there in that home for the rest of my life playing dominoes and making handbags. Oh, very nice. I don't think I want to stay down here with you no more. Oh, I think I shall go to my room. <laughs> Dad, Dad, please, please, don't take it like this. There's no need to come up yet. I'm going to get some supper on. You don't do anything for me. I couldn't eat it. It'd stick in my throat. I don't want anything more out of you. Don't give me anything you're going to make me feel bad about, because my conscience is clear. I could have cleared out years ago. Lots of blokes would have done. There's one thing about this that cheers me up. What's that? The whole bleeding lot of you may get drowned. <laughs> I didn't have an hysterical month with him before I set sail. <laughs> now, where was we? Oh, yes. Give it a quarter inch for a thousand mile. That should do it. One, two, three. Yes, Midway Island. Shoot the sun. Hold it into right hand. That's all, women. Oh, that's it. I got it. Day, come on. Did you notice the gardens as you come in? You used to like gardening, didn't you? Eh? Remember the little window box you used to have? Oh, oh. oh, look. Entertainment's programme. Tonight, a recital of old English madrigals by the Egg Bowl <laughs> Amateur Choral Society. <laughs> I think we have been very lucky to get you in here. I now, hope the sharks get you. Now look, Dave. <laughs> Don't start punching up. Not in here. Oh, oh, shh, shh, someone's coming. Oh, good morning. Where are you looking for somebody? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the matron. This is my father. He is coming to stay here. Yeah? Good new blood. That's what we need here. <laughs> my name's Lotterby. Miss. Not to be. Games and extramural activities. <laughs> Once you're settled in, I'll pop along to your room to see what you're interested in. <laughs> see you, see you at lunch. <laughs> I do believe she fancies you. To be all right there. You're going to have a bowl here. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Mr. Stepto. Good morning, my oh, twin. And this is the old gentleman. I'm not an old gentleman, and let's get that straight for a start. And I'm here under protest. I want all this put in me folder. Here under protest. Now, I'm sure your son is doing what is best for you. I know you'll be very happy here. 
I won't. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> I'm a troublemaker. I'm worn, and you, I'm always ringing bells in bedtime. He knows that. I was in the hospital, and I'm choosy about me food, and if I don't get what I like, I, I, I'm liable to go on hunger strike. <laughs> Got old ladies in here, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you better keep them locked up for a start. <laughs> When you get to know him, he's going round the world with a boatload of birds. Dirty little beast. I don't listen to him. It's quite all right, Mr. Stepto, I understand. They're always a bit upset at first, you know. But he's in good hands. Don't worry, we'll take care of him. Now, come along. I'm going to show you to your room. This way. That's right. Oh, look, that's very nice. Bags. <laughs> oh, what a lovely little room. Well, it's, it's not quite home yet, but it soon will be, as soon as you put in your own little knick-knacks. I've got plenty of them, missus. <laughs> I'll have this looking like my own place in no time. <laughs> Well, I expect you want to say goodbye, so uh, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Lunch is at one o'clock sharp in the main hall. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? Isn't it lovely? Oh, look at the view. It's quite breathtaking. I think it used to belong to the Rothschilds. Or was it the Astors? <laughs> it was one of that mob. <laughs> Would you like me to help you uh, unpack? No, thanks. I'll do it myself. Oh, look. You've got your own little wash basin. <laughs> you can wash in that. I know what a wash basin's for. I have used one before. Oh, well, I suppose I'll better be off then. Uh, cheerio. I shall write to you then. Uh, once a week. Don't bother. And um, cards, I shall send you cards. If we drop anchor anywhere that is interesting. <laughs> oh, well. Cheerio. You do understand that. I mean, I didn't want to do it, but I've got to take a chance while I've got it, haven't I? And I'll only be away for two years, and I'll come back and see you the minute I land in England, I promise. I don't expect I'll be here then. Would you? Oh, don't be silly. Oh, you've got years in front of you yet. Oh, don't talk like that. Look, I'll try and get in and see you before we sail, but I can't promise. I shall send you all the money we get from the yard. Yes, well, I'll uh, say cheerio. Look after yourself. Yeah. <laughs> in a couple of days, you won't miss me at all. <laughs> it, it'll be the other way around, probably. <laughs> Yes. Well, uh, I'll say cheerio. Cheerio. So aren't you going to wish me bon voyage and good luck? No. Oh. That's <laughs> all right then. How about you? I shall be thinking of you, then. All the time. Goodbye.
Oh, yeah. to see you. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, sailor. Where have you been? Oh, I've just come back from the China Seas. Well, the women like up there. Oh, they're fair. Very fair. Oh, they'll do anything for you. There you are. Bath you all over when you're having a bath. <laughs> oh, that's, that's very sensuous. <laughs> I'm going back. We've got to, haven't you? I mean, I can't stay in this country and I'll see what I've seen, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm jumping right off to see you. Oh, God. I think I'll be off in a week. After all these years, I can hardly believe it. Yeah, I'm jumping right off to see you. Oh, God, don't time drag. I wonder what the rest of the crew's like. I hope the birds is all right. Oh, they must be. Oh, yes. Skipper knows what he's doing. Oh, Shannon Dawn, I long to see you. <laughs> I hope I'm not seasick. <laughs> oh, I'm like a burker myself, not in front of birds. <laughs> seasick pills. <laughs> oh. Poor old devil. His only crime is that he is old. <laughs> oh, but I don't get as old as him. <laughs> I reckon another 20 years and I'll turn it in. I should hate to drag it out like him. <laughs> oh, oh, I long to see you. Oh, why are you Why, it's them. Oh, Shannon Dawn, I long to see you. And I'm ever bound away. Cross the wide misery. Oh, the misery is so Dear Mr. Steptoe, I hear we've returned your cheque for £100. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. We regret having to inform you at such short notice that we have reluctantly decided not to accept your application as a crew member on our forthcoming voyage. The boys and girls have been debating the problem of your age for some time now, and as our average age is only 20, it is the majority view that 37 is just a little too old for us all to feel comfortable. <laughs> We are sure you will understand this <laughs> and hope that we have not put you to too much inconvenience. <laughs> Yours, Rodney Larson Brown, Captain. <laughs> 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 